Hey guys, uh, this is Fluffsoft. I'm recording this video because a whole bunch of people have been requesting a video guide on how to use the Guthans AFK Clicker and a bunch of the other programs. So this video is going to take you through how to use the Guthans AFK Clicker. Uh, so I'm going to walk you through the entire process of how this works. Uh, so first step, we're going to download it from Fluffsoft.net. I'm going to open up my downloads folder and we can run it. Uh, we're just going to leave this here for now. I'm going to talk about a few more things and then we'll get to how this actually works. Um, the setup I'm going to be using is the same as the recommended usage guide here on the website. Uh, if you have higher stats or you know if you want to use any other configuration feel free to. Um, <clears throat> so again uh, with the gear just to reiterate you do need to have full Gothans on um, and you can swap out your cape, necklace, boots, ring, gloves, etc. Uh, to be the best in slot that you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Dominic, we're going to start the dream, we're going to do a, a customizable rumble. He's going to take 12,000 coins from your coffer, make sure that's unlocked before you start this. We're going to go over and we're going to drink the, pro the potion. Um, as you can see, I have all of the same monsters selected that I have in the recommended guide on the website. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to accept that and he's going to take us into the dream. <clears throat> now when you come into the dream, as it says on the website again, um, you need to have auto retaliate on and whatever attack style you're going to be using selected. And we're going to come to this square right here. It is zero, one, two, three, four, five squares back um, between the two pieces of armor. So what we do to set this up, first we're going to go to set up quick prayers. Uh, make sure that protect one of the protection from melee is on. Uh, we'll select done. Um, they're going to start attacking you, which is fine because we're still here. So we're going to let it auto retaliate. Um, and that's it's time to get the program running. So notice how if I click over here, the focus leaves that. So the entire time we're setting this up, we need to have this window, this program focused at all times uh, as we're setting this up. So first step is we're going to take our cursor, we're going to place it right over the center of the prayer icon, and we're going to hit enter. And what that's going to do is it's going to grab the coordinates of your mouse pointer so it knows where to click for the prayer icon. Uh, next we're going to enter the amount of time in minutes you want to run this for. Uh, the auto uh, logout is 6 hours so that's why the maximum is 360 hours or 360 minutes. Um, you can run this for as long as you want and it'll keep clicking for you. It'll keep you logged in. So we're just going to do 60 minutes. We're not going to actually uh, show the program for 60 minutes. Uh, so, and again, with this window focused, see how it's still maintaining focus. We're going to place our cursor over that prayer icon and we're going to hit any key to continue. <clears throat> so what the program is going to show you is the time you started this, the time that the program is going to end, and the time until the next click. So that's very important. Um, the logout timer for Guthans for being in combat using auto retaliate is 20 minutes. So what this program does is between 5 and 15 minutes randomly we're going to prayer flick just like this. I'm going to do it manually so you can see what it's going to do. But every 5 to 15 minutes we're just going to prayer flick on, prayer flick off. And that right there is enough to keep you logged in. And that will reset your 20 minute timer. So with this program running here, you're never going to have to worry about coming back in 20 minutes and clicking the mouse or anything like that. Um, Guthin should take care of doing all of the healing for you. If you die, you can adjust the monsters and the, the difficulty of the rumble um, to select easier bosses. Uh, but for the most part, if you select just the melee ones that we have here, as you can see, I I'm taking damage, but I'm also, you know, 
<laughs> well, I've only lost one HP, so it's really not too bad. Um, and yeah, all you do is let this run. It'll it will not auto log you out, but it will stop running after the uh, time that you specified. So I hope this guide helps, and we'll be making more videos. And thank you for all the support. And keep checking out our products.